What's up? How are you guys this week? Not too much going on down at Frankie's Strange Meat. The uh, big cooler delivery is here, so my guys are busy unloading that in the warehouse, which gives me time to wander around unbothered by myself. Uh, so I guess the main thing this week is we have some very affordable New York strip steaks compared to our already best price online. So it's Tuesday, so we already sent most of the meat orders out yesterday. Frankie's free range food stuff. I'm running a little bit low on a few things. I've been using that uh, that whole wheat pastry flour as like a breading on my cod and my fish when I cook it in the pan. We did run out of the pemmican and the Tatomi's cookie bars, but we still have the white chocolate, dark chocolate chip granola bars, as well as the quinoa crisp. We got the vanilla berry and chocolate best bars, and uh, the meat granola is back as well. If you guys have been missing our very unique product. We should get the biltong and all the beef sticks and stuff back in stock on the foods website as well this week. And we did send out all of the lemon light orders that we needed to fix. Maybe we'll have some new, new stuff next week. We have some products ready, just a few logistical issues that are about to give me a stroke. We got a uh, washer and dryer over there that I'm gonna have installed for uh, for just like washing the towels. So we can use those instead of like paper towels and stuff. Got some restocks here that should be ready by the end of this week. Pork strip steak, some ground venison. Uh, we got some more beef belly, some veal liver, not too much stuff. In the fridge, almost all the dairy is basically sold this week. Decent amount of water kefir grains. We're selling out of the water kefir. Uh, we do have the apple available now as well as the plain. The pineapple should be ready today or tomorrow. I'm going to take some of these home for myself. We're actually running really low on eggs. My uh, chicken farmer is swapping out his chickens for new ones. So they're not sending us eggs for a few weeks. And I didn't plan as well as I should have. So I had to increase the price on the eggs so we don't run out as quickly. Uh, but you guys are still buying them. So <laughs> we might uh, be completely out of eggs for a little while. Hopefully the, the duck farmer... Uh, can still keep sending us the duck eggs so we at least have something but maybe i'll call them and see if they have anything left over but i think i think that's it i don't think we're gonna have eggs for or at least more eggs for another three or four or five weeks to the freezer so the main thing this week as i said earlier we have a really good price on these strip steaks guys 100 percent grass-fed these are 10 ounce strip steaks and then we also have 10 ounce strip steaks, but they're in packs of two. So it's, you know, one and a half pounds of New York strip steak. Uh, I think it's a bit more than half the price of the other steak. So very, very affordable if you guys are looking to stock up on some uh, cheap steaks. Yeah, it feels really cold in there today, but uh, we don't have much to show you guys anyway. That's really it. Uh, the strip steaks uh, on sale, that's the main promotion. Uh, after we restock that stuff this week, maybe I'll give you guys a better look at everything next week and, and show you guys the few things we've restocked. Uh, not that big of a deal. Some of you guys were asking for grape water kefir, but there's like no such thing as organic raisins without preservatives in them. They all have like sulfur dioxide or sunflower oil or something on them. So I don't really want to put that in the product for you guys. So for now, we're just going to have the apple, the pineapple and the ginger uh, water kefir. Uh, the big thing was the potato chips last week, but we're like basically sold out. So hopefully I can get this Amish guy to make more potato chips. If not, we're going to have an issue. Uh, I think we broke even, which is not great from a business perspective, but definitely not bad news. So hopefully we can get some more potato chips in within a week or two. I don't know if that's going to happen though. So we had the uh, whole pallet of potato chips you guys saw last week. Now we got a few measly boxes left. Yeah, so maybe my Amish buddy can make some more chips next week. Uh, I do also have a potato chip manufacturing consultant coming next week, but I, I think that's completely out of the question because um, those manufacturing lines are probably six figures, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. You know, it does everything, though. It, like, cuts the potatoes, peels them, washes them, 
uh, fries and bags and from start to finish. So I, I think that's probably out of the budget, but might as well have the guy come next week because outside of having the Amish people make it for us, that's the only real option because there's no manufacturers or co-packers in the United States that will make potato chips for us. Frankie's. That's what we could open, bro. We can just open a potato chip stand instead of a grocery store. Time's flying, guys. It's already like middle of September. So we're going to have to do the turkey pre-orders for Thanksgiving. I think we're going to do those in October. Uh, we just want to make sure like we know how many people want a corn and soy free Thanksgiving turkey and uh, make sure everyone gets them on time and they're ready for Thanksgiving. But uh, that's not gonna be for a few more weeks. Actually just got a delivery here. Some of you guys might have been waiting for. We got the organic artichoke spread. We got some capers, the fig jams back in stock. And I think we also have some of the new uh, barley malt vinegar, which is like an artisanal malt vinegar. So guys, definitely check out uh, the food's website for all the restocks and the new stuff. Yeah, guys, so we have the artichoke spread back in stock. All organic, highest quality products on the market by far. And then this is something new, mainly for fried food. It's an artisanal malt vinegar. The reason I like malt vinegar is because it's used to make biltong, but imagine how much you'd have to charge for biltong if you made it with this stuff. A little expensive. I don't really show you guys the organ supplement stuff that much. Uh, we do have some of the fixed lemon light formula available with the flextrose and the whey protein. Most of the organ supplement stuff right now, guys, is uh, vitamins and minerals like molybdenum, manganese, selenium, boron, zinc, magnesium, copper. We got a lot of B vitamins like we have vitamin C, macronutrient, digestive enzymes. We got magnesium oil spray, uh, vitamin K2, vitamin D3. Uh, this is the iodine that I use every day in like my nasal flushes and stuff. Uh, we do have some thyroid powder left and um, I think some liver and some uh, pancreas powder as well. Hopefully we can get the, re the rest of the powders in. Wi-Fi shielding, we got the shoe straps available, maybe some new products in the works too. I think on the bed canopy end of things, we just have some uh, twin size canopies and some king size canopies. Uh, for the t-shirts and shorts, we basically have everything, all the sizes, and we should have the baseball hats and some wool hats back in stock very soon. Frankie's Naturals, we've showed you guys all the new stuff a few times. Uh, maybe I'll bring uh, some of my formulas back over the next few months as we sell out of some of this stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna go help my guys unload those coolers so they can have lunch in a reasonable amount of time. I got my guys uh, Chick-fil-A today. I got them uh, spicy chicken sandwich, um, some nuggets, strips, fries, $54 lunch, but that's why I'm going bro. That's why I'm going bro. My guys eat like normal food, like Subway, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, but it's whatever. Sometimes I'll like go to the restaurant supply store and, and buy the new ingredients and they'll make their own sandwiches. But yeah, I guess the, like the next year, you know, you guys really continuing to support me until uh, we get things a little better situated with either a farm or a processing plant or something. That's, that's, that's the big deal because you know, right now, uh, the profit margins on the business aren't that great. That's why um, I'm always trying to like do new products to keep sales high and everything. But you know, as long as you guys continue to support us for another year or so, uh, we should be in a much better position. As soon as I stop hemorrhaging money in this new place, I don't, I don't want to complain too much. We didn't we didn't have a weekly Amish rant. We didn't we didn't complain that much today. So we'll we'll end on a good note, guys. FrankDestefan.com to check out all of my interesting, creative and unique business ideas. Frankie syringe me, Frankie syringe foods, Wi-Fi shielding, you know, that's everything. But I'll see you guys for the next video. Maybe we'll just do some more shorts this week.